lubricate and install the new U-cup and bearing to the inside of the air plates. Then lubricate and install the new L-cup o-ring seal into the outside face of the air plate with the o-ring portion of the seal facing the outside of the pump. Then install the bushing. Note, use an arbor press or a bearing press tool to install the bushings. Lubricate and install the piston o-ring onto the piston. Then lubricate and install the cylinder o-rings. Lubricate the inside of the cylinder, then position the cylinder into one of the air plates. Lubricate the piston o-ring. The piston shaft. Slide the piston into the cylinder. Lubricate the second air plate and align with the first air plate. Then press down over the cylinder and piston. Install the air plate bolts, then using a 13 millimeter socket, Tighten the bolts on each air cover. Tighten and torque the first air plate, then the second air plate. Then go back and torque the first air plate. For the 3D 150, torque these bolts 28 to 33 foot-pounds. Check to see if the piston shaft moves freely. Lubricate and install the pilot valves if they were removed in the disassembly procedure. Torque the pilot valves between 100 to 120 inch-pounds. Using the four bolts, attach the mounting plate to the base of the pump. This plate can be mounted parallel or perpendicular to the length of the pump.
torque these bolts between 100 and 120 inch-pounds.